Hello friends, in this quick short video, I will tell you how you can disable the SSL for node manager. And this specific video is an on-demand video by requested by OPR. So in production, okay, when we, not in production, even in any environment, when you install your WebLogic and when you start your node manager first time, by default is listen for the SSL, secure socket. Okay, but in production or in maybe in development and some other environment as well, many times, we may have to disable the SSL of a uh, node manager and then we have to enable as a uh, plain communication instead of SSL. This could be due to some certain kind of a, uh, issues with the WebLogic server or with the node manager where uh, you may be getting set some warnings, you, you may be getting set some issues when you are communicating with your node managers via node uh, to your uh, managed servers via node manager. Okay, so there are n number of reasons where you need to disable the SSL for your uh, node manager which comes as the default. So we'll see how we can disable the SSL for your node manager and make it as a plain. Okay, so how we can check whether uh, your node manager is running on SSL or plain mode, you have two options. One is you can go to your admin console, click on machines and then configuration and then inside configuration, click on node manager tab. And then you can see the type of your node manager. If it is SSH, okay, that means your node manager is running in the SSH mode. Okay, which you have to disable and you have to make it as a plane. But how you can make that one? If you are just disabling this from the console and enabling as a plane, okay, this would not be sufficient. You have to change at the node manager side as well, right? Because node manager is a completely a separate dev entity, okay, which is using uh, in WebLogic as a tool for controlling your managed service, okay? So if you are changing this particular setting from on the WebLogic, console, you have to make sure to change at the node manager side as well. And similarly, if you are changing this property at the node manager side, then you have to change it on the WebLogic side as well. Okay. So to change your, uh, this particular secure listener of node manager to, to as a plane, okay, you have to first edit your node manager properties file where you have to disable the secure listener parameter. Okay. So for that, you have to go to your node manager home, which is inside your domain. That means inside your domain, you will have a folder with name node manager. Go inside your node manager and then open your node manager.properties file. Okay. Once you will open this file, you will see a lot of parameters. Okay. And there you will see a parameter with name secure listener, which would be true. Okay. By default. So make it false. And once you will make it false and then you will restart your node manager. Okay. So your node manager will start in non SSL mode. That means non secure mode so now you have changed it at the node manager level but you have to ask your admin console or you have to ask to your WebLogic server as well that hey i have changed the node manager to listen on now the non-secure non-secure port okay so you please change the configuration from your side as well now you go back to your admin console servers and then machines mines and machines you are click on your machine name and then click on configuration and then node manager and change type of the node manager to play and then save okay so now what will happen is that your node manager is again listening on the secure uh, non secure uh, socket right because you have changed the secure properties to false and now you have changed the same on the your WebLogic console as well type to plain right so now go to your again your machines and monitoring and node manager status tab you will see that status is reachable this should be reachable if it is reachable that means your node manager is running and your WebLogic server is identified the your node manager if it is unreachable if it is not reachable then you would not be able to start your managed servers from the weblogic console until and unless your node manager would be reachable thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos